Welcome to the Cabin Fever Show. Here we now have four decades of Tonka. We have genres through the 1950s through the 1980s. We are starting out right here with a 1954 Tonka Green Giant tractor trailer. These vehicles are original American-made press metal steel vehicles built here in the original company of Mound Manufacturing in Mound, Minnesota, where Tonka got its very beginnings back in the 19, late 40s, early 1950s. This truck, as you can see, has the original tires, rims, original paint in very fine, fine to very fine condition. And in this generation, this is actually the second generation of Tonka pickup, I mean tractor and trailer, you can see that you actually have metal headlights connected to a metal grill. Tonka had this format for the headlights through 1957, 1950, um, sorry, 1955. So notice you have no windshield, you have all metal, you even have back here, you have the original doors with the original handles, wooden floor, just like a real tractor trailer would have. And so this here even has the original mud flaps. In 1956, we went to a Tonka steak bed farm truck that would have originally had plastic horses, plastic cows, a ramp and a corral off the back of it. You now had, for the first time, plastic headlights but notice there's still no windshield or interior cab. Tonka continuing on, decided in 1957 that they were going to come out with a dump body style truck. Again, you now have, just like in 56, you now have a plastic headlight inside of a metal headlight casing, and then you have all the original metal. The paint's a little faded, but that's patina. There's no rust, it's the original paint, the original decals, and what's wonderful about this is you even have the original spring load dump bed that still functions perfectly. Ford had the fat, bo fat fender body style through 1957. In 1958, Ford went to a square body design. Hence, you not only have, you've gone from two to four headlights like the Ford had, but you now for the first time, Tonka has installed a plastic windshield. This is just the early models where the very hint of plastic but still an all metal design, full steel toy, pressed metal, made at Mound Metalcraft, Mound, Minnesota. The design of the square body continued on basically through about, well, the rest of the generation in the Ford series. You had Fords such as this fire truck, which still has the hoses on it, and your other hoses, it comes with all the, all the additional parts. These, again, had four headlights now instead of two, the plastic windshields, and they continued through this 1963 tow truck, which this actually is missing what would have been a spare wheel right here and tire, but aside from that, everything else is intact. Again, these are all original paint, original decals, original parts, fully made in America, pressed metal steel toys. If you come over here, you shall see that in 1975, we actually have a Tonka ambulance, like you would have seen years ago in the old Rich's department store as an example. You know, you have the working roof, the working sliding door, and ironically, you also have the original action figures that came with it in the original clothes. The irony is, and I've joked with my friends about this, is that the gentleman on the gurney has a big smile on his face, so apparently he's receiving the proper medication for his accident. This ambulance I actually purchased from an original Tonker employee out of when they were, he worked for Tonka and he enjoyed, as you see the action figures falling down, he worked for Tonka out of Minnesota and when he sold it to me you can see the door still slides, all the parts function. The value of these is determined, do you have the original stickers, do you have all the original parts, does it work, is it rusty, is it the original paint? Well, I just recently picked up this I got in the mail just for the show. This is a 1974 Tonka, complete with a mixer, in the original paint. It looks like it just came out of the box. Clearly some child had never gotten a hold of it. Now here's what's interesting. So on this particular Tonka, 
notice that you not only have a plastic windshield, but you have a plastic interior. Now, they went from the Ford series with Tonka to Dodge roughly circa 1968. So from 54 to 19, roughly 67, you had Fords. And it was sometime around 67 to 68, you actually went from Ford to a Dodge. Dodge followed all the way up until roughly 1980 with Tonka. We had four, gener four decades of Tonka. We went from metal headlights and no cab glass of plastic to plastic headlights and still no windshield to plastic headlights and plastic windshield, plastic headlights, plastic windshield, plastic interior, to then upper plastic and then half plastic. The biggest mistake anybody who collects American press metal toys, I can tell you, do not refurb them. Do not strip them and repaint them. You are diminishing the value of the toy. Leave them original. Don't touch them. You can either collect them for yourself, collect them to increase in value over the years, or give them to younger relatives in your family. Leave them original, don't touch them, and you'll have years of enjoyment and collector value. And once again, it was uh, great to be able to come here and show these for the Narragansett Historical Society.